everyone welcome back to my channel queens hello how are you i hope you're doing really amazing today welcome to my beauty curations foundation review a bop or flop on my channel i am so excited to be filming this video today for y'all queens y'all are going to see me do my makeup a little bit later into the video because i actually shot me doing my makeup before actually shooting the intro so i'm really excited Queens, look at these lashes. They're everything. I actually got them from a beauty stand. They're from Lexi Lash. They're these like small lash company and I really love them. And I'm living for them. So I just want to promote a smaller lash company. You know, I usually pull up my velour or my code, but I just want to promote something else a little today. Not sponsored. She does not know who I am. I'm just promoting these big lashes because they are sickening and they are in style nanny. So mm, I live. Don't come for the makeup today. You know, we had, a, you know, I was trying a new foundation now and you know what? I, I kind of just need to go really fast. The makeup may not be on par today, you know, you know, not me going, not, not being on par, but you know, we're living, we're living nonetheless, <laughs> but we love it. So Queens, we're going to spread lots of energy today. Lots of positivity reviewing the beauty creations, Latina owned brand on this channel, powder foundation. I love supporting Latina owned brands, baby support latina own brands baby but here are the shades i got i got shade seven and six in the beauty creations foundation i think they're cute i think it's gone one shade lighter for the foundation and can, like both powders this six powder is really good i'm not going to get my review on it until the end so you have to watch the end so you gotta wait until you get my review honey but please like and subscribe to my channel queens if you are ready to get into this video like and subscribe watch another video on the way after this you know if you don't want to watch your review with the beauty creations honey and this is where you're going to leave my video then watch another one i just put lip glosses on last video so queens i hope y'all enjoyed this video i enjoyed it so much and queens let's go watch me slay the beauty creations foundation and put some makeup on because queens we gotta see if the beauty creations powder foundation is a bop or a flop so queens hit the intro all right we just hit the intro hello queen so we're about to get into the review y'all just saw me with my makeup on already pre-done so now i have to actually do my makeup so i can actually film that part because y'all are seeing that part in the future of me doing my makeup so y'all understand y'all know y'all know already know let me show you the components of the makeup here i did a little bit of uh just the tiniest bit of concealer and foundation under my eye and then to cover some of the blemishes i have on my skin that was all because i just you know didn't want that showing and i didn't want y'all to freak out like ah no, but you yeah, have my hair back, you know, <laughs> but I hope y'all are doing amazing. Here is the packaging, the components, the packaging, what the component looks like. It's really beautiful. It's pretty big. I have two different shades. I want a light shade and a little bit of uh, like a skin tone shade and then like a light shade and they cut like look like this. They come with like a little plastic cap where you can just dip the little puff and you just grab it in there. The puff comes with the product. Beautiful, nice mirror. I like the mirror. It looks really, it's not too expensive of a mirror. These are only $10, so really good price. Very fair. Love it. They actually came in little components like this, so it was like kind of wrapped in like even double wrapping so they don't break in transit, which I love. Love the packaging. So it's Beauty Creations. It is a buildable coverage, velvety matte finish, multi-use, long wear, oil-free, cruelty-free, 24-month use wear foundation. It is flawless stay. It is recyclable. It is cruelty-free. And I love it. And it is made with ingredients the powder foundation beauty creations latina owned brand we love and i can't wait to use it so queens let's get in so here is the foundation i'm using for my skin i will say i mean the packaging is bigger than the actual like product itself but it's really cute so i can't wait to use it i have a little mirror right here i have everything here so i'm gonna just dip in and you know see if it is i really can't wait to try this so as we are i don't know how i should do it so we're just gonna dip in like this Okay, that's a lot of product on here. And here's just, I'm going to just use this smear, babes. And let's just, oh, babes. <laughs> not me going babes. Oh, this is really not, oh, I feel like I put a lot. Well, I may put it too much on, babe. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. And it's a little dark. Hmm. It's a little dark and I feel like I put a lot on. So let me just kind of smooth this out. It's really red. It's a little, it's a little dark for me personally, I would say. But I'm going to lighten it up right now. Uh, wow, mm, you know, wow, it's very full coverage, very full coverage. Let me grab the other shade too, the lighter shade, the uh, the six shade, because I want to see how it looks mixed together. I'm going to put it on this one, thing, this one I'm going to put under my eye, the lighter shade. Let me see if this is a better match for me. Oh yeah, I think I like this shade, it's a better match. Yeah, I definitely do. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of these little beauty blenders because they feel very, very cheap. And they're like digging into the product, making these like little holes. I don't know if you're going to see that, but they're making these little holes. And I'm not the biggest fan of that, but oh my God, it is very velvety. 
Hmm. I feel like this is digging into my pores just a little bit. Oh wow, that's really nice cover. That's really nice. I'm just gonna blend this all out here. It's not gonna match me at all. I thought I got a pretty good match, but maybe it didn't get a good match. Oh, it's really nice coverage though. Here's one side of it on next to the other side. It is like skin. It's a very nice matte feeling. I'm gonna spray with some setting spray. It feels nice. Let me do the other side um, with like a brush. Let me find like a nice like dense brush I can use. Like if this is a nice powder brush I can use. This has some powder on it already. So I'm just dip into this dark, a little the darker one just a little bit. And let me actually do um, my chin with it. And just kind of set a little bit. And I'll, I'll, I'll definitely have to um, lighten this one up. But wow, I really do like it. It's really, really nice, everyone. I mean, y'all saw the coverage it did. I'm doing, this is, again, with the Beauty Creations Puff it comes with. I put a lot of products in this one. And then there's a little bit of kickback in the pan, especially with a nice uh, Sigma Duo Fiber Brush like this. But here I am pressing it in. Oh, not my mariposas. On my ear babies. Oh my god. Ow. But, oh my gosh. I'm really liking this foundation coverage. Would this be my new favorite foundation? think so i don't think i'll be wearing powder foundation i don't know that's the vibe for me but i can set my face with this you see on the chin i'm still in the coverage i need for my chin like my chin is definitely a problem area i don't know if i like it with the brush maybe i do like it with the beauty creation sponge because i mean it just kind of layers more product in it and i feel like i'm using a lot i'm gonna take this lip gloss off because i feel like it's gonna ruin my foundation quite honestly shock i really enjoy this honestly y'all i wasn't expecting to enjoy it this much because like i was like powder foundation i do have a bias towards liquid because i feel like i've only really played with liquid i've only had to try a couple of your front mac like the mac one is powder and i've only tried like the mac and the one video one which i did not particularly like but i would want to try again just in case you know i would like maybe find you know another love for it but that one i just didn't feel like did the vibe i needed it and then i'm gonna dip into this both of the shades right here for my nose because I like my nose kind of being highlighted but not too much. But wow, I'm really enjoying this powder. It's covering a lot. I will say it did not define any of my pores, but I feel like I can almost do my pores just a little bit more with this foundation on than I can with like a liquid foundation. I'm using it as it is intended for use. It is very full coverage. I will say that. I'm not, again, not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. It was $10 at a beauty store in the block of Orange County. So I really wanted to buy it. And oh my gosh. Am I liking it? Am I liking it? I don't know. So I'm going to drop a little bit more. The lighter one on my chin. Highlighting my chin. But I'm just giving it an extra little coverage. But I really am enjoying this. Just to lighten it up just a little bit because this side's got a little heavy and dark. But wow, I really am enjoying this foundation, I will say. I feel like I'm really being able to press this into the skin really fastly. And wow, I'm enjoying this coverage. I can tell you that. The coverage is honestly really good. Powder foundation just is so difficult to create for dry skin like mine. And i just not a big fan of that dry skin look. I don't like looking like dry skin. And I don't think I got the right shade. The light one is too yellow. And I feel like this one is just way too red. And I got a... She said it was pink. The girl with shade matched me. No shade matched my skin tone because it's different. And it's just like... It's just... This shade is just... It's cute. But it's just not what I was needing. And this brush, it does help a little bit with the coverage. And, you know, just... We kind of blend it into skin. It's a little bit better than what the sponge can do. Because what the sponge can do is it could do a lot. But when you get down to like nitty gritty little uh, reviews, honey, I need to make sure y'all can see what's going on and I hope y'all can see what's going on. But I really like it. I do really like it. Oh, it's getting a little warm in here, babes. It's getting a little warm in here. But I do like it. I don't like that the powders don't really mix well together. They're like, I, I mean, where, you know, I'm just trying to blend this in and I'm kind of struggling to have like a seamless blend. Like here I'm going with this like lighter powder under my eyes and even then, I would like you almost go a little lighter and see how it's like not really blending well in. Like right here, I lose like a big patch of powder. And I don't, I'm just lightly tapping, like I have the lightest bit of powder, but it's so full coverage. So even the lightest bit of powder is a lot. I want to, ooh, not my, okay, not my earring falling off, but I really enjoy this makeup. Like I think it's cute. 
But I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm going to have to see how I feel at the end here. But I'm going to spray with some foundation and some setting spray. See how I feel. I'll give you my thought. But let me put my foundation, highlighter, concealer. Do a little spray with Max Fix Plus. I need to set this in. Okay, there we go. The Hopefully this doesn't move too much with the spritz. Let me get a, a fan. This one has a very really intense spray and I don't want it to mess up my foundation, especially the powder I just put on. I want this foundation to look really nice and I really want it like, I haven't really tried Beauty Creations too much. Like I've tried a little bit of their product, but not enough where I can say like, oh, I can, I've told, I have like a favorite from their brand yet. So I've only tried a little bit of product from them. This is my first complexion product I'm trying them. It's not bad. Honestly, looking at my foundation, I don't think it's bad at all. I think it's really, actually really strong. I like it. That little glow gave me a little bit more luminosity. So I hope y'all are getting to what I'm seeing. And I really enjoy this. The lighter shade, I really like this lighter shade. I almost want to go one shade lighter just under my eye. I feel like I have to go back and buy another one of these because I think it might. I really like this as a finishing powder. Like under my eye, it looks really nice. Giving that little extra coverage that maybe some of the oh, powder giveaway. And just on my eyelids too, that needs a little bit of extra coverage. Let me go in with this brush. Give her that little extra coverage on my eyelids because I didn't set the powder and concealer I put on my eyelids. But wow, I really like this foundation. I really do. This would be, like for powder foundation, this is a, definitely a bop for me. Definitely giving me bop vibes. I don't know. I have to keep I have to keep reviewing now. It's bop vibes. It could be a flop vibe too. Getting some flop vibes. It's not too drawing though, which I'm really excited about. Like with the spray, I was still able to get a nice luminosity to it. And even if I wanted to spray it one more time, like, like, I feel like I can't. Like, I feel like. I can get that nice luminosity I want. I'm spraying this really far away from my face. But like, I feel like I can get that luminosity that I need and I really want. I'm really, really enjoying this foundation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, of course, dry my face off. Come back to you at the end with my makeup done and give you my final thoughts and see how it wears throughout my makeup. And if I have any, like, little faculties, I'll record it. But I'm going to do my makeup, my concealer, my contour, my foundation. And I am just going to be back and tell you if I like it or not. Queens, thank you so much for watching this review. And I'll see you at the end for my final result and my final verdict. So, Queens, I'm excited. And I'm done with my makeup, Queens. Oh, my gosh. I have to give my final opinions about the beauty curations makeup. But I got to take my little jacket off, baby. It is warm in this room. I got my mariposas on my ears and I'm living. So we actually be taking the Beauty Creations foundation and reviewing it, giving it a bop or flop. Now let's see how my skin looks. My skin does look very nice. I do like it. I'm not the biggest fan of my makeup today personally and I think that's on me, not on the powder foundation. I'm not going to judge that on me, but I really like it. I hope y'all like the lashes that I said in the beginning of the intro. I'm sweating a little bit. My, I have a little bit of lines here, which I'm starting to get right here. Just like lines right here. I can see my pores a little bit. I don't usually see my pores right here, but you know, it's not awful. I have some dry skin that's hanging off right here, but that's fine. The foundation is very good. I will say that. I really do like the foundation. On its own, it does hold up really good. For oily skin, I don't know how well this would hold. I have a lot. I have dry skin. Very, very dry skin with little oily patches on my nose and my forehead. I don't like the way my powder foundation looks on my pores. It does, it kind of seeps in a little bit. On my chin, it looks my, it makes my chin just a little drier than normal. And on my forehead, I actually really do like the way it looks on my forehead. So my forehead, I really like the way it looks. On right here area, I don't like it. On my cheeks, it looks normal. It doesn't change anything, my vibe of it. So let me give my review. I really enjoy this foundation. I'm just putting my little puff back. I think it is a bop if it works on your skin type. So I'm going to actually bop this product. I'm giving the Beauty Creations a bop, everyone. Yay. Very exciting. I think this product did what it needed to be done. It's velvety in the skin. I don't know. Not on my skin. It was a little bit more of a matte uh, velvet touch, but it was velvety. From the claims of the product, it did what needed to be done. I think it makes my skin look really pretty. I really like the way it looks. I hope... Hope, hope did they make a luminous version of this? Not a matte version, but okay. But I'm okay with it. Like, the mirror is nice. The lashes are thickening, of course. But I just really wish 
I didn't have dry skin, so this makeup look can be amazing. But I just have drier skin, so it didn't really work on me. What will I use this on? I will definitely use this as an under eye finisher, like over my Anastasia Rare Beauty complexion products, because I really do like the way it finishes under the eye. It makes my eyes look really nice. And camera, I don't know how it's looking, but in real life, my eyes look really nice and set. They don't look too creasy. They look really nice. My skin looks really good. The mirror is really good in here, so I want y'all to see, blah, blah, blah. The mirror is really good to see the camera. Bam, look at the cannon, bam. But I love it. I think it looks really sweet. My lips are, mm, I like the lip color. It's kind of cute. But review, bop. I would give it like an 8.5 out of 10. I really enjoy this foundation. I really think it's really pretty, Queen. So everyone, thank you so much for enjoying this video. Thank you so much for watching it for me to all the way to the end. I can't wait to do more reviews like this. My Therese Lucis Beauty is coming on its way, Queens. I can't wait to get that review out, Queens. A lot more videos coming this week. I am spreading so much love and positivity to y'all. Remember to be a queen and remember to know that you are in control of your life, that you are amazing, that you are rare, that you are vulnerable, and you are amazing, Queens. I love you so much. Spread our queendom share my video please like tell your friends your grandma your family your mother your fathers tell them all that bricks of queen is here to slay please like and subscribe to my channel queens i love you so much and i'm going to continue creating content that i love as we are hitting our one year anniversary on this channel queens so i love you i'll see you queens later thank you so much for loving me and supporting me and i'll see you queens later thank you so much for watching the beauty creations powder foundation review and bye bye <laughs>